I wanted today to put the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam through some scenarios, uh, seeing how it removes, breaks down, encapsulates loose dirt, dust, uh, some bonded dirt. I have two scenarios set up, one with a motorcycle. It's come out of uh, storage that's been in for quite some time, very dusty, a couple layers of uh, dust and dirt from sitting in a barn. Then I have a van that has a ton of bonded contaminants. So we're going to see how it uh, removes and breaks down both. Let's take a look. Honeydew Snow Foam is pH neutral, safe for wax and sealants. This bike was pulled from longtime storage, has a nice layer of loose dirt, dust mostly. Before we do a contact wash, we want to remove as much of that as possible, so we'll use the Honeydew Snow Foam. As a disclaimer, I don't put enough product in the solution to make foam four inches thick for picture perfect uh, videos. Being um, fiscally responsible, running a business, I'll put about an ounce, ounce and a half in the container, and uh, that'll be enough just to cling to the side of the surface of the vehicles, whatever I'm trying to clean. As you'll see here, it's, uh, it just has enough viscosity to cling to the side of the bike here and do its job for six to ten minutes before a thorough rinse. Having plenty of free time waiting for the foam to do its job, I usually just walk around the bike with a soft detailing brush and get around the corners of the emblems real quick. Eight minutes has gone by, we're going to grab the pressure washer, we'll come into a thorough rinse and see how the honeydew has performed. Dried off as best we can with forced air. And as expected, had no problem whatsoever with the thick layer of dust and dirt from storage. All right, so that was too easy. We're going to kick it up a few notches. We're going to refill the honeydew. By the way, I have the Torque Foam Cannon, also from the Chemical Guys. I've had this for quite some time. It takes a beating. All I do is make sure I do a thorough rinse with warm water when I'm done, and I have no problems with it whatsoever. Did not have to take it apart and change the filter. So, as I promised, we're really going to step it up and put it through the paces here. This van, although it doesn't need to be detailed, thank goodness, needs to be cleaned off a bit before it gets sent off to auction. So, we're going to use the honeydew before we do a contact wash and see how much of this thick, loose, and bonded dirt to the wheels and the body of the van. We'll see how much it can remove.
A quick lesson will also be included here as to what uh, long-term use of surface magnets will do to the finish of your paint. I have no clue why anybody would bother attaching these to a gorgeous paint job, but th there you go. All right, so let's get this going. This will be a great test for the honeydew. I'm really kind of anxious to see what kind of outcome we're going to get. Again, I add just enough of the product to the container to produce a foam that will stick and dwell on the vehicle long enough to do its job. If a real thick, frothy foam satisfies you, go ahead and add two to two and a half ounces to warm water in your container. It'll give you the results you're looking for. What I am really looking forward to adding to the arsenal here is a submachine gun style foam cannon. And I want suggestions from all you guys out there as to what I should uh, purchase, bring in, and do a demo on. So for this size vehicle, an ounce and a half was just enough to give me nice coverage and decent dwell time for about 10 minutes or so to be effective and break down some dirt. It's uh, definitely not very satisfying visually, but uh, it's very effective nonetheless. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. Now keep in mind, this is inside. We have no wind, we have no sun. So it, you could get some extended time out of uh, letting the, the product dwell and do some work without it drying on the surface of your car. We'll come in with a thorough rinse and take a look, see what the chemical guys, honeydew snow foam has done. I went ahead, thoroughly dried it with forced air, and as you can see, the wheels, the body of the van, in all the corners, it is very effective, did a great job, and for the price of a gallon, I recommend it. The van probably wasn't washed in a year. It's done a decent job on the loose, light dirt, and also not bad on the bonnet contaminants. A link will be left down below, as usual. Cost is right, it's very effective. I know the product has been covered a ton on YouTube. Just wanted to put my spin on it. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate.